What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the interweb? Throughout this year, and especially the last couple days, it has been extremely hinted and extremely amounts of leaked that a Crash Tag Team Racing remake or a sequel is coming in 2019. So where did this all come from, and why is it a very strong thing to believe right now? Let's talk about this in this video. Play the intro. <laughs> Alright, so it appears that gifts and notes are being sent out to random people in the gaming community and outside the gaming community, similar to what happened with Spyro with the purple dragon eggs that was sent to people like Boogie2988, IGN, and a bunch of random people. Now, there is a note with like two little fuzzy dice being sent out to people saying pay attention at the Game Awards because something's going to be sliding in. The Game Awards is becoming really big. It's becoming bigger than E3, it seems like. So I would not be surprised to see Crash Tag Team Racing slide its way in during the Game Awards. At the beginning of this year, there was a leak that there was a new Crash game coming in 2019 and that there would be a new Spyro game coming in 2020. So if this does come to fact, then that means we are definitely getting a new Crash game next year and maybe 2020, launch of the new Xbox and PlayStation, we could be getting a full on new Spyro. And I have a little theory about what those could be. Those could be Crash Purple and Spyro Orange. If there was a new Spyro game in 2020, they could throw out Spyro Orange. And then 2021, throw out Crash Orange. For those of you guys that never played that, that was a crossover Nintendo exclusive for Crash and Spyro. You would see Spyro entering Crash's world to defeat his bad guys and Crash entering Spyro's world to defeat his bad guys. It was really enjoyable. I really liked the game as a child and to have it, you know, in the new engine, not by Toys for Bob. Good God, if anybody's making it, it better not be Toys for Bob. Then it would be really exciting to see what could be pulled off on the new engines by not Toys for Bob's if this was to be remade by not Toys for Bob's because I would want this to be a really good remake and a really, really good game, which is something Toys for Bob is not capable of. It seems really realistic at this point that a Crash Tag Team Racing is definitely going to happen. You know, based off that leak and then what's being sent off now, you really need to be watching the Game Awards this Thursday. I think it starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can look it up online or I'll just post it across the screen for all the times actually. So it's going to be quite interesting to watch the Game Awards this year. There's a bunch of things being like leaked out for it already. There's a Metroid Prime trilogy coming that was leaked out on the Spawn Wave podcast. They have insider information. It's coming in January for $60 according to what they said. Mr. Nick Direct Feed Gameplay, that man leaked it out and I'm very thankful for him. Happy Hanukkah, Nick. And then there's other leaks coming out that Koei Tecmo's new game that they're going to be announcing is a new Ninja Gaiden. I would be so ecstatic if it was Ninja Gaiden. But there's also reports that it's just Attack on Titan 3, which would make sense because they could launch it in April when Attack on Titan 3 finishes up. Actually, no, it would be like July when Attack on Titan 3 finishes up. So that would be very exciting to see happen. There's also reports that PlayStation is unveiling two new exclusives during this, which could be a very big deal. We don't know what they could be. If it's Jack, I'm going to cry. If it's anything by Toys for Bob, I am going to cry angry tears. Because Toys for Bob did a very bad job on Spyro. Their only good game they've ever made is Madagascar on the Nintendo GameCube. But the real question about this is would a Crash Tag Team Racing work in 2019 with the modern way gaming is shifting? I think it really would. Because if you look at all the game systems, all the games that's came out since 2013, there has not been a racing game one fourth as good as Mario Kart. PlayStation tried with Gran Turismo, a huge failure. Xbox is trying with Forza Horizon, but unless you're like a diehard car sim fan, Forza isn't really for you. I enjoy Forza Motorsport, but they don't put the time and effort in Forza Motorsport like they do Forza Horizon. So to have a full track based game for Crash Tag Team Racing to be on across every console would be a very, very big deal. For those of you guys that don't follow cell charts, when Crash released on the PlayStation 4, it sold very, very well. It did not sell as good as it did on Xbox, Switch, and PC, but it did sell very well. And once it released on the Switch and Xbox and PC, it was in 4K on PC and 4K on Xbox, which is, you know, kind of figurable that it wouldn't be 4K on Switch and PlayStation 4 because neither of the two support 4K. I mean, you can upscale it all day with the docks and with the PlayStation 4 Pro hardware and slim hardware, but it's not the same thing. 
but it did sell best on Nintendo Switch, which I kind of thought was weird because you don't really think of Crash being a Nintendo game, but it sold better than anywhere else on the Nintendo Switch. So everybody is trying to get in on the Switch Pie right now. Everything is getting ported. Games that we haven't seen for years are getting ported to the Switch, like Saints Row the Third. It's coming exclusively remastered to the Nintendo Switch. A bunch of other PlayStation 2 classics are coming exclusively remastered to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch popped up, it's king, it's definitely waking it's had the best exclusives that this generation has had to offer since 2013 and it's not even been out for two years so it's definitely going to be you know a big convincing point for people to be bringing back their old games and remaking them because think about it retro games and retro style games they're doing best on the nintendo switch which isn't i don't think a surprise to anybody because nintendo tends to be the favor of among retro people so I would not be surprised if more people and more companies start bringing out these retro games. And about a year and a half ago, I believe, maybe it was this year, I don't remember exactly, but Activision said that they would like to have a new Crash game every two years. So if they were to do that, then 2019 would be exactly two years after Crash Insanity officially released the first time. So Crash Tag Team Racing then, whether it's a sequel or a remake, would make really good sense. It would make a whole lot of sense. And then let's say PlayStation releases in 2021, because it's pretty certain that the Xbox Scarlet is going to reach in 2019 or 2020. So if the PlayStation 5 released in 2021, that would be two years after Crash Tag Team Racing. So then they could bring out, you know, either a whole new Crash Bandicoot game or completely remake from the ground up. Crash Purple and Spiral Orange, not by Toys for Bobs. Please do not let Toys for Bob touch anything else. So that would be really exciting to see a full remake of that, because again, those were Game Boy games. So having a full remake of that would be a, like a brand new game. Like, just, it would be out of this world mind blowing to everybody. So it is making a whole lot of sense that Crash Tag Team Racing has actually officially been leaked and will be confirmed this Thursday at the Game Awards. Do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to try not to die. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We're going to be going hardcore Somali Spyro in a California girl's mouth this time during crash season. That's a spicy joke because California people can't take spicy food. I've it's, it's, it's weird. Every California person I've been around, they actually like throw up whenever they eat spicy food. It's weird. But with that being said, try not to die and I'll see you in the next video. Crash season is among us once again.